Hello friends, how are you? My name is Ori Ferger and today I'm going to talk about the rune Perthro. But before we start, I think it's important to repeat what I have said when this rune series started. We know little about the runes, in truth close to nothing. Many runes have been lost through time and their meanings as well. The runes have a very extensive history of being symbols to express emotions, to describe different forces and principles of the universe and the human consciousness. Before being used as a form of writing, the runes were signs that illustrated a variety of realities that are simply lost to us. There is no way of knowing their original names and their original meanings before the creation of the rune poems. The knowledge we have of the meaning of each rune nowadays comes from the Icelandic, Norwegian and Old English rune poems as well as from the Alvamal. That is just a tiny fraction of what they meant. So, what I have been expressing in my rune series are the interpretations we can come up with by studying the rune poems and try to construct a coherent line of thought by following the sequence of the runes. My words are not false, but they are not the only possible truth either. My speech is to help you in understanding the runes and by yourself you continue to study the runes and come up with new meanings. Because the runes are hidden knowledge always flowing and we are trying to catch up. Let's start this video. Perthro expresses the unknown. By the knowledge we have of the rune poems, it's simply not possible to understand what it actually means, what this word expresses. Perthro seems to have been a symbol that expresses the way in which humankind and gods interact with the unknown forces of fate. Not fate in a simplistic Judeo-Christian understanding of predestination, but the forces of the universe beyond human understanding that shape the endless web of destiny. The events and memories carved on the timeless existence of everything. The never-ending cycle of existence always flowing. I've made a video uh, about destiny and fate, Weird and Orlog, which might better explain uh, what I'm trying to express here. So, Perthro is a rune often associated with the Norns, with fate and the events that are yet to be manifested. A rune associated with the role of luck in the evolutionary process of all things. With Perthro, we stand in a point of nothingness, not knowing, guessing because such moments are part of our existence. Sometimes we simply don't have the power or skill or wisdom because we are not all-knowing and we aren't all-powerful. There are limitations and sometimes we can't expect anything. Uh, there are certain moments in our lives that are beyond our control and we must let things happen and see where life is taking us. Let the forces of fate act on our behalf. The original identity of Perthro is elusive. The old English rune poem speaks of Perthro as something associated with gaming, uh, to play, uh, which I don't think it's the actual play of a game, uh, a board game or something to have fun with, but it is referring to a state of carelessness, in the sense of being free from worry and let the unknown forces play, let the universe decide, let fate flow and set things in the right course. And so this state gives us a certain pleasure, a certain happiness 
to know that certain moments, certain decisions in life are simply not ours to make because it's beyond our control and so we have a certain freedom and we may just let things take their natural course. So, in a certain way, Perthro is related to good omens, joy, evolutionary change, but because it's a moment of nothingness and the unknown, it may also indicate a moment in life of stagnation, a long pause without a perceptible end. But this moment of pause uh, might be might not be that bad if you can somehow turn it to your advantage. Don't allow anxiety to cloud your ability to enjoy life. Each of us is creating our own stories and there are certain moments between events that the main character needs a pause, an interval, uh, to relax and breathe, have some fun, a playful moment to play. As I have said, the true meaning of Perthro is unknown to anyone, as it is not a recognized word. And I think it's exactly this nameless quality uh, in this rune that makes Perthro so special, so significant. Not everything in our lives is under our control, or anyone else's control. Certain moments in life rest solely on chance, on luck, on playful forces of the universe. The luck expressed in a particular moment might change the entire course of the rest of our lives. We come about something by pure chance, because not everything has to happen the way it was supposed to, or not everything has to be written down in a big book of life or a tapestry of fate. There are moments in life that are pure luck. And luck, as we know in Old Norse spirituality, Hemingia, is a force at work, a force that acts by itself and in our advantage if we have a good amount of Hemingia, a good amount of luck, inherited due to the right choices taken by our ancestors. And as such, Hemingia, luck, is intimately tied with the fate as well, with the Erlog, with the past actions that can't be changed and inevitably will influence our lives. Past actions of our ancestors, completely out of our control, because they were made in the past, even before we were born, but will inevitably have a very active role in our lives. So if our ancestors made good choices, right actions, we will inherit a good flow of luck constructed by the right actions of the past. Because of this connection between Perthro and the unknown, we have to consider that this rune expresses the runes themselves, as the word rune in itself gives us a hint of what the runes really are. The word rune signifies secret, mystery or secret whisper. The runes are hidden forces, forces of the unknown, forces beyond human understanding that we have tried to explain by constructing these signs, the runes themselves, to express the hidden forces of the universe we have been trying to comprehend. The runes are magical expressions of the hidden forces of the universe, which signifies the runes have different meanings, a multitude of meanings endless meanings, which is why Perthro is the unknown, because no matter how much we know about the runes, in the end we know nothing at all, because the, the knowledge of all things is endless and we will spend an entire life learning. In this sense, I think Perthro expresses the occult spirituality, the deeper levels of consciousness where we develop a high intellectual ability that permits us to understand existence itself. Without a doubt, of all the runes, Perthro is the most mysterious, because it deals with the mystery of the runes themselves. Think about Perthro as the rune that holds in itself the hidden knowledge, 
the knowledge of human existence that was lost over the centuries. But because our ancestors lived and experienced life, even without leaving behind any clues of their knowledge of the things they achieved and what they have learned, because they are part of us, their knowledge lies in the deepest levels of the unconscious, of the, the collective unconscious of humankind. And Perthro might signify that, the collective memory printed in our DNA, not entirely lost because sometimes it comes to the surface, but we cannot exactly explain what we see or what we feel and experience in a spiritual level, and we don't know how exactly to reach that hidden knowledge, but the knowledge is there, it is stored within ourselves. Now let's talk about the meaning of this rune when it appears in a rune reading, because divination is a method to reach the hidden secrets, therefore Pertho expresses divination itself. In terms of divination, it's quite simple when Perthro appears. If this rune is the first rune to appear, or indeed the only rune of your rune reading or method of divination, then you should stop immediately. This signifies that you are not meant to know the answer to your question at this particular moment, at this particular time in your life. After everything I have said previously, I think you understand that some things are simply not meant to be known because uh, we are not mentally ready for them and how it might affect us. But if Perthro appears in the middle or at the end of a rune reading, in its upright position, proceed with the reading. This suggests that you are doing it right while playing the game of life and that you are definitely on a positive flow. When this rune appears in its inverted position, fate can deal a crushing blow. The game of life will transform your life, the entire scenery where you are the main character, into something frightening and unfamiliar. Don't gamble with your life and don't try to force fate. Don't force your hand in trying to attain what clearly you should not know. This is not the time to act. So just let things happen the way they must. Go with the flow and let the wave carry you uh, to shore and in safety just wait. Inverted Perthro advises us not to have too many expectations and that you should naturally wait because the old path you took has come to an end you simply cannot repeat the same experiences without suffering. Whatever is in the past, it remains there. And don't try to leave them again, because you will certainly suffer. Mind that we are talking about this rune in its inverted position in a rune reading. Gather all your energies and focus on this moment of your life. Uh, th your energies are the only requirements for your personal growth. And more importantly, Perthro advises not to focus on the events of the past or indeed be overwhelmed by the memory of the past choices. Otherwise, you are preventing yourself from leaving the present. And this present moment is the only time you have for self-change. It's not the past that will help you this time nor prospects of the future, only what you have right now, what you acquired and gathered until this moment, and what is left. Remember that Perthro indicates a moment of nothingness, unknown, a long pause without a perceptible end. This pause is necessary in your life to be able to start a new chapter in your life with renewed energy. When your inner self is evolving and transforming, trying to reach a deeper level, have patience and perseverance, and above all, have faith in yourself, 
because before long you will understand that new beginnings lie in painful endings. All right, my dear friends, I hope you have enjoyed yet another rune. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next video, and as always, da Frida.